Portability allows you to take your grilling experiences on the road, whether it be a quick visit to the park or longer adventures like a road trip across the states. And when your grill folds up like a rolling luggage, this makes it so much easier to do so. Today we are reviewing the King Griller Gambler Portable Charcoal Grill by Char Griller. We'll point out some of the features that I really like about this grill and some of the things that can be improved right here on Al Luna Securing. What is up my good people? Just recently I visited my local Lowe's and saw this grill at such a great price I had to snag one. More on that in just a bit, but let me point out why I thought this was such a great deal. First of all, the size of these plastic wheels makes it so easy to move around from place to place. They could be a better quality, but at such a budget friendly price, what would you expect? Next, the way this grill folds down and hooks on the left side makes it real easy to break down, hook it and go, and the handle on the left side even doubles as a sturdy table. Another cool feature is the latch that locks down the grill lid in place when you're moving it around. You can also use this latch when you're smoking meat to have a better seal around the lid and contain more smoke inside the cooking chamber. However, it does get hot, so wearing protective gloves would be smart. An improvement such as a rubber end or a spring handle could solve this issue, but once again, at this budget-friendly price, it's hard to complain. Moving on, there's a damper on the top left that opens and closes for the exhaust and another damper on the lower right so the grill can draw some air. On the top of the grill you'll notice a gauge to always know the temperature of your grill and a nice King Griller badge logo. Now let's open it up to show you the features inside. Now mine was missing the great lifter it comes with. I bought mine already assembled. I did reach out to Char Griller and they are sending me one. So that's a nice feature, but to have cast iron grates at this price level is even better. I'm a big fan of cast iron grates. They are just easier to clean and leave great grill marks on steak. So another thing I wanna point out about these grates is that there is a notch on the grill that holds these grates in place when you're moving it around so the grates don't fall out of place. We've all had those grill grates fall on us when we're moving our grills around. I know I have. So the grates come off on the side that's closest to you. So let's remove them and I'll show you the next feature. Removing the grates, you can see that the grill comes with an ash pan. This ash pan is designed so that your charcoal will have some airflow underneath and the ashes fall to the lower pan, making cleanup much easier. And like the grill grates, the ash pan does have some retaining hooks that allows it to stay in place when you're moving around the grill. So as you can see, this grill comes with some pretty cool features. Char Griller did their homework on this one. Last feature I want to point out is that there is a grease drain hole on the bottom. It comes with a hook so that you can hang a grease bucket. So that's pretty much it. I found this for $79 at my local Lowe's. Look around and you might find one on sale as well. If not, I'll leave the link for it on the video description below. Now let's get our proteins ready for the fire. Okay guys, so we're in the kitchen, so let me tell you what we got uh, to cook today. We got some uh, finger ribs, and basically these are the ribs that uh, they cut the, the ribeye from. So this is basically a ribeye on a bone. So what we got uh, going here also is the arrachera. Uh, it's also hanging tenders, and I'll just put a little chart so you guys know what part or what, where this cut comes from, what part of the cow this cut comes from. And what we're using on seasoning is a base layer of uh, Grillaholics SPG butter. And this stuff is fantastic for uh, a base rub. And then uh, on top of that, we're doing the Brazilian Steakhouse rub to get that red color in there. This is not as salty. So we can go uh, with a foundation of this and then give it a good cover of uh, the Brazilian Steakhouse. On the chicken, uh, we got some uh, party wings, also known as miscut wings. This is where the butchers messed up cutting the wings. So you get them at a discount. And what we're doing here, this is a weekday cook, so uh, we save the better prime uh, cuts for the weekend cooks. This is a weekday. So uh, we also went with a base coat of SPG butter for the wings, and then we covered it with Herbaceous hand. This stuff is delicious. And once again, this is not uh, not, not too much salt on this, so you can uh, do the cover topping or the topping cover or the topping rub, I should say, uh, should be uh, one that has less salt. And that's what we did here for our chicken. 
And look at that fantastic chicken, how much herbs and spices that it has. We're getting ready to go outside, guys. These three rubs are fantastic. I'll have the link for them in the video description. Now let's get our fire ready. One thing I love about barrel cookers is their space. It allows you to do two zone or even three zone cooking. A sear zone, a grill zone, and a smoking zone. That is the way we are setting up our fire. Now let's get to it. Second thought, I'm going to remove this grill just to expedite things. Put it down here. Get the fire closer to the meat. The remaining charcoal. And just let it right out. We are done. And so we finished the cook as night fell upon us. This little grill was a lot of fun. I was able to cook a decent sized meal for such a small grill. Those rubs made all the meat taste fantastic. I'll leave all the links for all the things you saw in the video below in the video description. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys have a great week and some great cooks ahead. Don't forget our barbecue chats on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope to see you guys and gals there. Till next time, take care of yourself and and each other. We'll see you on the next one.